atin pong dasalin ang orasyo imperata laban sa COVID-19. Magkapangyarihan at mapagmahal na Ama, nagsusumamo kami sa iyo upang hilingin ng iyong patnubay laban sa COVID-19 na nagpapahirap sa marami at kumitil na ng mga buhay. Gabayan mo ang mga dalubhasang na atasan at tumuklas ng mga lunas at paraan upang ihinto ang paglaganap nito. Patnubayan mo ang mga lumilingap sa may sakit upang ang kanilang pagkalinga ay malakipan ng husay at malasakit. Itinataas namin ang mga nagdurusa. Makamtan na wa nila ang mabuting kalusugan. Lingapin mo rin ang mga kumakalinga sa kanila. Pagkamtin mo ng kapayapaang walang hanggan ang mga pumanaw na. Pagkalooban mo kami ng biyaya na magtulong-tulong tungo sa ikabubuti ng lahat. Pukawin sa amin ang pagmamalasakit sa mga nangangailangan. Nagsusumamo kami na iyong ihinto na ang paglaganap ng virus at ipag kami sa lahat ng mga takot. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Heso Kristo na buhay at nagharing kasama mo at ng Espiritu Santo, iisang Diyos, magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. Tumudulog kami sa iyong patnubay, mahal na ina ng Diyos. Pakinggan mo ang aming mga kahilingan sa aming pangangailangan at ipag mo kami sa lahat ng kasamahan. Maluwalhati at pinagpalang birhen. Amen. Mahal na birhen, mapagpagaling sa may sakit. Panalangin mo kami. San Rafael Arcangel, ipanalangin mo kami. San Roque, ipanalangin mo kami. San Lorenzo Ruiz, ipanalangin mo kami. San Pedro Calungson, ipanalangin mo kami. So, pasensya na sa mga technical delays, pero we are very much prepared for our next discussion para ho sa episode ngayong gabi. Let's discuss on how we can stay humble kahit na tayo'y makatamasa na ng tagumpay sa ating career. Because it's really important na you don't have to brag everything. Kailangan mayroon para humility na 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 natitira sa ating kalooban ganyan. Sometimes we have to let others na i-flex as as the youngsters say sa ating mga natamasa so far. So When we are doing really well, kapag mag may dinalingan ng isang tao sa kanyang larangan, when the person is doing amazing at the top of his or her game, tsaka mukhang galante na, elegante, socialin, and maayos ng manamit, tsaka, tsaka kaaya-aya ring tingnan. Kailangan bang ipagmalaki yung mga achievements niya to everybody at ganun na ang kanya na sa buhay. You don't always have to. Why? 
in the age of the humble brag, it can be slightly complicated to know when or how to brag and when anyone should keep good news to him or herself. Dahil Arden Kleis says, being humble is truly a positive trait, whereas bragging is not. So who is Arden Kleis? Isa siyang etiquette expert and author of Spinach in Your Boss's Teeth, Essential Etiquette for Professional Success. So, kailangan talaga natin maging humble regardless of how far we've got, we've, how far we've come sa ating career para hindi tayo mag, magkaroon ng impression na Masyado tayong mayabang. Ganun. So, he, so, Clyde has offered some tips para sa mga tao na makapag-share ng good news and accomplishments without bragging. And let's begin. First, kailangan itago muna sa sarili ang iyong achievements unless may nagtanong na. Don't offer good news unless may na nagtanong sa iyo kung kamusta ka na at kung merong relevant opening. Meaning, don't crow about just how well you're doing and don't share with people kung sino man ang may insecurity sa success mo. If someone asks how you're doing and parang mail na silang pakialam sa'yo and your professional or life journey, sige lang. You can share your good news and kapag mayroon namang nagbibigay parang may something or humoring you though, pwede namang mag-change topic or steer the conversation in a different direction na lang. Second is share the facts. Kapag yung exciting naman ng update sa yung career or life, Keep it low-key and don't talk ad nauseum about it. Wag mo nang sobrahan. Wag namang magbaka-exaggerated. Yung mga details about your career heights ay pwede mo namang i-share na lang sa relatives mo, to your mother, to your partner, to your siblings dahil record naman sila by law to Listen to every single detail, kahit boring man ito, or paulit-ulit, or repetitive. The third is, let's share the glory. Siyempre, may mga taong tumutulong sa atin, or tumulong na sa atin to help us achieve our career highs. Kung ano ang narating natin, kung sa time sa trabaho and all of that so let's find time to say thank you to them people seem more inclined to listen to happy news kapag may narinig sila sa kung ano na ang naging progress ng career mo at this point example if you've come to maybe yung mentor mo sa career mo and one day nag 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 kamustahan kayo somewhere you should approach him or her and say thank you dahil isa siya sa mga key persons na tumulong sa iyo na magkaroon ng success sa iyong career also make it a conversation instead of a declaration according to Clice after sharing your accomplishment and getting a response for it Turn the conversation back to the other person. Kailangan, well, you can just share your accomplishment and hintay mo na lang yung mga pinag-sharean mo na nagsabing, hey, congrats, I'm so happy for you. Galing, ginalingan mo naman masyado. Then let them, let them give you compliments na Magaling ang nagawa mo, you did great, ganyan. You don't have to overly brag about everything. Dahil lang may na-achieve kang ganyan. Now, may example lang ganito. 
according to X, things are really good for me right now. I'm really excited that I was recently promoted to vice president at my company. It will be a challenging job, but I'm lucky to have a really talented team working with me. At ang sagot naman ni Y, that's wonderful. Did you enjoy your trip to France? Kailangan bigyan ni X si Y ng pagkakataon na ipagmalaki yung mga achievements ni X. So, hindi maging all about just X or yung person na nagsabing masaya siya na ganito na yung estado ng buhay niya, ng karir niya. Just let the other people give you praises and compliments dahil ganun na narating mo na ang bunga na yung hard work ay na kuha mo na. Don't make it all about yourself. Therefore, of course, let others brag for you. It's much more powerful and impressive when you hold back and let someone share your news. I've been through that situation a lot of times personally. No, uh, naging honor student ako, no, naging dean's lister ako. I let people congratulate me at nagsabi, hey, kamusta naman kayo? Our son is an honor student. You have a dean's lister of a son. Ganon. I just let them spread the word na may ganun akong achievement. This may have to happen organically, but it can't be orchestrated. But if you can spend time with people na may talagang appreciation and respect sa'yo, sigurado pa rin isishare nila yung mga achievements mo. If kung gagawin mo man or hindi. Sila na bahalang mag sabing ganito ka na, ganyan ka na. You're successful already. You're earning big time. Wag mo nang sabihin all out. Let them do it for you. Dahil it means na they're proud na ganun ka, na parang kahit naging successful ka, may pagka down to earth ka pa rin. Meron pang mga bagay na kailangan isa-isip. Just such as anyone can doesn't have to always downplay their own success. What if kung mga sub-stories mo ay mas may response ng friends mo kaysa sa success story mo? Ano na gagawin mo? The best way is to find better friends than those na mas may response sa bakit ka nagsa-struggle, bakit may pinagdadaanan kang ganito, bakit, bakit ka may trials na kailangan iharapin pa na challenging, ganyan. ba? Diba? There's one thing like magtago ka lang ng isang brag list for yourself. It's as important to remind yourself about your worth as it is to share with others. Kailangan gumawa ka ng folder sa inbox para mag-file ng emails na may praise and career recognition. Then, pwede kang magsulat ng success list for yourself and read it over and over and over again bago ka mag bago ka maggawa ng susunod mong presentation. Or you can also read your CV, curriculum vitae, or resume and recognize all the amazing things that brought you to this place. To this place. Ganon. Baga pag you look back at your resume at may mga naatenan kang seminars and trainings and what motivated you to work hard to to attain that level of success. You can proudly keep that brag list for yourself, so to speak. Always listen to the nice things that people say. We're taught not to brag and to downplay the nice things people say to us. 
eh kung ikaw naman ay hinayaan mo lang sarili mo na mapure at ma-acknowledge that it's well deserved. Yes, it happens. Like, kung may nagawa ka magandang presentation or if you did something na successful or you were you were among those who formulated this revolutionary product, that's how you deserve that praise and acknowledgement. It could be, it could sound revolutionary, but it may also encourage others to better recognize your worth. Maraming ganyan, like, may honor student sa family nyo, may cum laude na, na graduate. Sila yung mga nakikinig sa sinasabi ng iba about them. Na they were they were acknowledged sa magandang bagay na nagawa nila. And that's what's, that's what's great dahil their worth is being recognized. And each, each of us should also praise others because everyone loves hearing about how talented and inspiring they are. Kailangan marinig ng lahat na meron din silang talent and they could inspire others. It also makes them more inclined to listen when you share your own good news. In Siguro, when I was in college, I attended these seminars and all of that. Na may mga may mga tao na nag-share ng kanilang success stories and how they got there. At bakit, nila, bakit sila motivated to become successful? What motivates them to work hard? Diba? I don't I did not want to share a lot of it, but they want to spread the good news to others. Now may lang din silang pinagdaanan before they they became that successful. Kaya gusto nila magkaroon din ng success yung mga people na nakikilala nila through seminars and webinars na if you do that, if you do that, na kapag, if you're motivated enough to work hard, magiging successful ka rin. Mga ganyan praises and compliments. And before we go on, meron, po, meron, meron pong fundraiser ang inklunihan. Ano ba ang inklunihan? Ito ay fundraiser para sa mga sumusunod. Number one, Ang mga PWD na walang-wala or poorest of the poor na mga kabilang sa mga nawala ng trabaho or naging temporarily unemployed dahil sa community quarantine period at ang mga hindi nabigyan ng ayuda or yung tinatawag na special um, social amelioration program. Please correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Pangalawa, ang mga mag-aaral na hindi kayang bumili ng mga materyales na gagamitin sa pag-aaral. Ay ng mga kailangan ng tablet, laptop para sa pag-aaral nila online. Kasi mga ganun yung mga walang walang pambili ng mga ganyan. They need they need funds kaya may inkludihan. Meron ding ayuda para sa mga kapuspalad are yung poorest of the poor. And lastly, ang mga proyekto ng Hands in Inclusion sa hinaharap. In the next few months, magkakaroon ng mga proyekto ng Hands in Inclusion na kailangan din ng funding para dyan, kaya isasagawa ang inglunihan. At Para po sa mga nanonood po ngayon, meron na po kayong pagkakataong mag-donate sa Inglunihan. Sa ngayon ay, nagagaw- ay pwede itong gawin sa pamamagitan ng GCash at Paymaya. You may donate through the number shown on your screen. Sa so, kahit ganito lang ka liit or kahit ganoon man kalaki ang kaya niyong i-donate, pwede pwede. Basta meron ho kayong na iambag na tulong para sa future projects ng Hansen Inclusion para rin sa 
pang pa, pambili ng mga materyales pang edukasyon ng ibang mga naghihikahot ng mga mahirap at para rin sa mga PWDs na hindi nabigyan ng ayuda at saka yung mga unemployed at saka yung mga walang-wala. Pwede rin mag-donate ng mga lumang damit, old clothes kay J.R. Oteda sa pamamagitan ng cell number na makikita nyo sa inyong screen. Kung may mga damit kayo na sa palagay nyo ay hindi nyo na magagamit for whatever reason, you can also donate them via inkunihan. Pwede nyo pong i-contact si JR para may para kayo makapag-donate ng mga lumang damit o yung mga pre-loved items, pre-loved clothing. At sa anumang halaga, inaasahan namin ang inyong suporta sa ating mga kababayan. Halina at mag-inclunihan. Hashtag inclunihan PH, hashtag include together. Ayan po. So, after we shared our topic for tonight sa Open Arms, which is yung... How to stay humble. Naway may mga natutun kayo mga tips and tricks na you don't have to to overly brag na ganito na narating nyo. You can sometimes let others share the good news na ganito na ang inyong natamo. Sorry po, lala ko po yun. Gaya ng promotion sa work or nagkap may naipundar na kayo, let them share the good news for you. ba? At par sa pamagitan din ng inkunihan, ba i-share din natin ng ating mga blessings para sa mga PWD na na, na walang-wala mga unemployed na dahil nga sa community quarantine at saka yung mga hindi nabigyan ng ayuda para rin sa mga nangangailangan ng, um, ng educational materials. Kaya po tayo na sasagawa ng inkunihan. Kung meron pa po kayong tanong kung paano mag-donate sa inkunihan, you may leave a comment. Sa pamamagkitan po ng inyong pagtulong ay may may nagagawa natin po ng matagumpay itong inkunihan. So, God bless us all. So, ayan po ang ating open arms for tonight. Sana po may natutunan kayo ngayon about humility at kung paano ito may papail all the time na kailangan talaga eh. Hindi naman natin karang ipagyabag na may mga achievements tayo eh. Ako rin mismo, I got called out dahil masyado akong, in my personal opinion, uh, masyado kong pinagmamalaki natin na ganito ako. So, minsan, I just let others tell na meron akong ganun, na ganyan. And it's actually better. So, pati nga ako, I've learned something about staying humble. Sana kayo, sana palagi natin yung pairalin sa school, sa career, anything. So, once again, this has been Billy and you have watched another episode of Open Arms. Have a great night.